Okay, now let's go through how to save and store uh, a still image and a clip. You'll notice that you've got a counter here. This is a constant memory buffer that's running all the time. This is a very useful thing. So when you've got uh, a, uh, an image that you like, you hit freeze. And very often, just as you hit freeze, you've missed the nanosecond, uh, the perfect image that you had just before you hit the button. The fact that you've got a buffer running means that you can scroll back frame by frame using the trackball to get to exactly the image that you wanted to save. When you have the image on the screen that you want to save, P1, which is a programmable button, programmed to be our save and store key, will save the image as a thumbnail at the bottom. You'll be able to tell that you've saved a still rather than a cine at this point because there's a number one in the corner, <coughs> which indicates that you've saved one frame. To carry on scanning, hit the unfreeze key. And we're then back to live scanning. Now, if you wanted to save a cine loop, the procedure's very, very similar, <coughs> but you just don't hit the freeze key. If I just scan through the liver like this, and then want to save that, without hitting freeze, if I hit P1, you'll see it takes a little while because it's saving. This scan is set up to save five seconds retrospectively from when I hit the, the, the P1 key. And you'll see down here that we have the clip saved. And that's my five second loop. <coughs>